Okay guys, so today we're gonna finish off the MC tutorials for the GUI and yeah, we're gonna work on the info button. Now I renamed this from uh, credits and to info. Let me just do it here too. So now I took an F2 info. Clips F, cap lock sound. Yeah, this is I'm pretty sure the username that we did last time. So basically what we want to do for the info is open up a panel right here having all the information. So what you want to do is click on the canvas, go create UI panel. And I'm getting messages, let me just lower the volume on my phone. Alrighty. So go create panel. Now uh, Let's actually center it into the lower left. Change the both width and uh, height to 200. And then let's just place it here in the corner. Okay. So, since it's 100 by 100 minutes in the corner, let's actually maybe have it a bit moved from the edge. Yeah, 10 more units from the edge seems to be enough. Okay, so in the game, you'll see it right here right now. Let's just rename this to panel info. Oops, wait, what happened? Panel info. In case. Uh, you want it you want to have more panels in one then click on it and go uh, create UI text now I'm gonna um, have this centered actually at the upper middle let's make the color all the way black and head to the very middle So, rename this to info, and I just copy and paste the text. This is the info, this is the text body. Well, no, this is the title, I mean, not info. Okay, so let's move this a bit uh, down, have it centered in the very middle, and let's put the size to 200 by 200 actually the height let's do 150, no, 140 I'm pretty sure yeah 140 leaves some space here for a button that we're gonna add and the alignment to top right you know top left and here I'm just gonna write a bunch of random text just like this okay so what I'm also going to do is go the panel UI button. Now, this is actually a button that's, let's put the height to 20 ish and width to 50 maybe. 80. Okay. And alignment bottom middle. Okay, that should be good. Change the text into link. Since this is actually gonna, when we press the button, open a website. Let's just run it, yeah. And another thing we need to do is go into the text body and make it maybe a t uh, 10 units smaller so the screen doesn't go a bit off the edge. Okay, so now open your Wait, first thing you want to do is go to panel info and wait. Uh, oh, yeah, you want to go where uh, user inter interface canvas and rename it to pan panel info canvas and then dr just drag the panel info into the panel info canvas, go to the canvas and disable it. So in our script now, we're gonna uh, write down 
var uh, panel for canvas of type I think here you can just write canvas it should register it automatically not sure if it does let's just see real quick if it does or not it seems like it does register it so we have a var info canvas now we're gonna go function update uh, change this to info panel and we also need another variable var info open of type of type uh, actually uh, let's just set it to false by default so here what we're gonna do is I have to copy this over because they didn't work on my keyboard for some reason we're gonna go if info open is equal to false then we're gonna uh, yeah set the <coughs> info open to be equal to true and the panel info canvas dot enabled equal to true okay so yeah just copy this over now paste it and change all the falses to true and the truest to falses and here's sync okay let's save it real quick and open up unity again okay let's run it real quick if we go info oh yeah I need to assign it where is the info button here it is that's in the main script whoops not main camera and so let's just go to info button add a script to drag the main game object into it come on why am I so bad at this now okay just drag it over to here select main menu buttons and what do we call it info panel okay so now if we click it okay so we didn't select any uh, very we didn't add the panel info canvas let's try it again then do we get any other errors? nope Okay, test two. Hmm, it isn't working. Is this changing? Let's see where's the problem. If it if it for open is false and set it to true. Hmm. Let me just see where the problem is and then I'll be right back okay so I found a problem uh, it was calling both of these at the same time so what we need to do here is instead of if type to just add else and it should be all good let's quickly go into the game to test it and yeah it's working now as you can see the random letters appear and stuff and it changes here so the last thing we need let's actually see if uh, can we click on the button we can good because I've been having some problems with that in my other game but yeah what we want to do now is uh, go on to Google and copy over the I'm gonna do it on Google by the way you could you just go to your website uh, copy over the URL whichever you want I just confirm it control C and go into here oh wait I'm just gonna paste it here real quick. What you need to do is make a new function. We we'll call it. Uh, I'm just gonna call it website. Open website and go 
application dot uh, open URL I believe it's and then in here in strings we're gonna put the URL we just copied over okay so now go to here go to the button we added it says link uh, add the main game object to it and where is it open website okay so now if we go info link you see it opens google up i'm gonna close actually i'm gonna close only once i don't want you to see my face but i'm gonna click link again and it opens up another one so yeah basically what we've done is the working buttons are exit and start continue whoops I press the start button by the way proof as it's working continue I'm now gonna do in the series I just want uh, to show you how to make deactivated buttons and also the username which when you do confirm it basically gives you it so yeah Anyways, that will be it for this uh, GUI series. Hopefully next week I'm going to be starting a great Unity, uh, a new Unity series, which will be announced by the end of this week, hopefully. But until then, I'll see you all guys, and bye.